Hi, my name is Dr. Adams and I'm the dentist at Maryland Holistic Dentist in Burtonsville, Maryland. And we get a lot of questions about kids expanders and growth appliances. Now I think it might be worth talking about the different types of growth appliances we have and kids certainly come in all different sizes and shapes. Some have upper jaws that are too small and lower jaws that are too big and some have jaws that are just too small in general, but the upper and lower jaws are really a very comparable small, and you're just looking to promote um, the growth. And there's really a few different types of appliances that we have. This is a really common appliance called like an ALF appliance. Um, it's really just, ALF appliance is called an advanced light wire functional and it actually clips onto the teeth. It doesn't fit this guy by any stretch, but basically, you know, it'll clip onto the teeth like this and like this, and it gets permanently placed. Um, and then when, and it stays in the mouth all the time. That's another thing. And then when the child comes in every, I'd say four to eight weeks, we'll make little adjustments and make this wire a little bit wider. And then you put it in and it has a little springiness to it and it springs out, especially once the tongue hits it and that's what's promoting the growth. Um, a lot of times I'll have parents come in and they'll say, well, what is the best expander? And there really is not a best expander. What you really need to do is just find an appliance that is capable of promoting the growth that your child needs. And it's also really important that the child actually be able to comply with the appliance. These alpha appliances actually stay in the mouth all the time. So if you're eating peanut butter jelly sandwiches or stuff getting stuck all over this, and sometimes they can even become dislodged, they can be a little bit more difficult to comply with. Also, if the appliance keeps coming out, you may find yourself driving back in here every week for us to put this appliance back in, and you can have some real issues. Um, this is a Schwartz appliance, and the Schwartz appliances actually are only worn at nighttime. And the Schwartz appliance has a few different features that the ALF appliance does not have. This is a springy wire that gets placed. There's actually one for the bottom and one for the top and the person still bites on their own teeth. There's nothing that causes them to bite down into anything different. So you're not gonna be in any way changing the relationship between the upper and lower jaws when you bite down. So if your kid has a situation where their lower jaw is too small and kind of further back, and you wanna get the, like if the lower jaw is biting back here and you want the lower jaw to, to grow out, um, you're going to need an appliance that's actually capable of stimulating forward growth of the lower jaw. And that's actually done with what we refer to as a bite plane. Um, a bite plane is something where when the appliance is placed in the mouth and the patient bites down, um, depending on how this is shaped, you know, it may be balance so that the person bites you know more back or more forwards it just depends on how you shape this so the strategy to get forward growth of the bite plane is to shape the bite plane so that when the person bites down they bite in a slightly more forward position and the research has shown that if people bite in a slightly more forward position you actually get remodeling back here where the lower jaw you know actually meets the cranium and you will get a forward uh, growth of that joint. Um, that's how the lower jaw moves. So basically what I'm telling you is, is that if you have a child that needs to get their lower jaw out, um, this work, this alpha appliance would not be an appropriate appliance because it's not capable of getting the lower jaw to, to grow forward, um, at least not by any great amount. Um, the, uh, the, the Schwartz appliance, typically the, the one that I do, let me see here. Oh yeah, this one's already expanded a little bit. 
Um, you can see how there's like a section that's kind of um, down the middle, and then there's a piece here. And what you do is we give these instructions to our patients just once a week. You'll come in here and you will turn this like, like this in the direction of this arrow. And then there's another arrow, let me find it, yeah, right here. And the appliance is turned this way. And that actually causes the appliance to grow a quarter of a millimeter forward and widthwise. And what that'll do is it'll put a light stretch on the paddle bounce, and specifically that suture here, and also the points where the teeth meet the bone. And the research has shown that if you have a light stretch on the connection between the bones, anywhere where there's basically ligaments that connect bones to bones and teeth to bones, and that's held for a week or so with kids who are growing, um, that, that the jaw will grow by a quarter of a millimeter about every week or so. Um, so I guess what you can really begin to see here is that when we have our kids come in, um, what I recommend is that you have your child come in and we'll take a look at their mouth and we need to figure out, you know, what the size of their mouth is, what the shape of their jaw structure is, you know, in what direction they need to grow, um, so that all their teeth and their tongue fits in their mouth properly. And then that will dictate what appliance we use. Um, and there's not really one quote best appliance. You know, the, the best appliance is the one that, you know, we can actually adjust and, and design so that it promotes the growth your kid need and that your child's able to actually comply with the treatment. So again, my name is Dr. Adams and I hope we've answered some of your questions about you know, what the best palo expander is.